and we're back on the roof so this unit's not cooling um filter's completely plugged it's calling for cool right now and it's not doing anything uh so we gotta see what's going on so here we go So we got her opened up. So just doing a quick visual inspection before I check anything. I uh, got my meter out. We're gonna check for voltage first. Uh, so first things I'm noticing, uh, that's disgusting. I don't know what that stuff is. Uh, this contactor is burnt to heck. Don't want to, but I'm gonna recommend a blower cleaning. We definitely need to put a new filter in that thing because that is plug o buggo. Um, contactor needs to be changed. That thing is just toast. Man, it's like super toast. Uh, so yeah, but supposedly we're getting a call for cooling right now, so good luck finding that in this rat's nest. So let's see if we have high voltage and we'll go from there. Yep. Okay, cool. So now we need to find our control voltage and see if we have voltage there. So I should be getting 24 volts from here to common. I am not. Interesting. We need to see if we have 24 volts. All right, so we're gonna go to common, which is back here. And we're gonna go to R, which is here. We have no 24 volts, so we gotta see if we have a fuse. Let's set and see if it trips right away. All right. So, G is not the problem. Let's see, now we got 24 volts. I have nothing to Y yet. And that's because the thermostat, now that it's detecting power, that's probably, um, it's probably on anti-recycle delay. So yeah, I am just making sure I'm getting a call for G. So I have a feeling that we have some kind of short on the Y. Because there's like 20 billion things hooked to it. We have all these relays. Alright, so I'm checking amps on Y. I just want to see if it cools crazy high. Um, and I have it on max, so it's going to hold the highest voltage. And now we're going to go ahead and jump Y, R to Y. Here we go. Okay. Absolutely nothing happened. kick on. So we're pulling 0.3 amps. This is one thing I hate about these old uh, carriers. You can't cover this panel up. Okay, so we're at 0.3 amps. So nowhere near pop. It's like it's 5 amps. So yeah, we're not even at 1 amp. Um, so we have 24 volts there at R. We have 24 volts at Y. Um, this is our reversing valve here. We should have 24 volts there. Yep. Okay. So, things appear to be working. It's possible maybe there's an issue with, with uh, W. Maybe W is what caused it to trip. So, we're going to go down inside. I'm going to change the filter. And then uh, we'll probably try to call for W and see if that pops in. Alrighty then, so I just changed the filters. Um, I'll show them to you. Check out these filters. Barely see light through it. Just changed in July of last year. So yeah, uh, I got the power killed. Um, before I killed the power though, I ran the air. Didn't have any problems. Um, I ran heat pump heat, air conditioning, emergency heat, auxiliary heat, everything. I ran everything all at the same time and no issues. So maybe there's an issue with the contactor, but I mean, it's not pulling high amp. So I, I'm not sure what, what caused it. So I'm gonna start with changing this contactor because it is just toasted. I mean, look at that. We'll take it out and get a better closer look at it. But yeah, that thing is toast. And look at how bad this thing is. I mean, this is ridiculous. This it is just completely toast. So I'm gonna definitely replace this. It's a 40 amp 
And then if you look at these, look at the ends of the wires. Even the wires are freaking burnt. Look at that. Jeez. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this replaced. And then we will cycle cool again. Uh, this time around, we'll probably put the cover on. We're going to go ahead and just check our pressures, make sure it's okay. And uh, yeah, go from there. Oof. All right, so we got the new contactor installed. Um, I did offer, uh, I recommend to clean this. They said no. So that's why this is not getting done. Uh, I also, uh, so the, yeah, the only thing that they approved uh, was the contactor and the filters and uh, so far. So I'm gonna hook up my probes and just make sure the charge is good and then we'll get the heck out of here. Alrighty, we got the door back partially on. Um, this is what our pressures are looking at. This is off, it's R22. So yeah, it's funny because like, this thing um, doesn't have a liquid line, it has a discharge port. So, you can't get sun cooling. But, uh, you know, they did think of putting a hole here for your hoses. So that's kind of cool. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and kick it on. Uh, we're going to just make sure the pressures are okay. It's not freezing or anything like that. Now that I think about it, I'm probably going to open that up and just make sure the coil's not plugged because the filters are trash, as you saw earlier. So just like I thought, the coil's trashed. So we'll see if they will let me do this, too. So they kind of said yes. Um, basically, they don't want to pay for chemicals, so we're just going to brush it off. Yeah, gotta love it. Alright, well, it's better. So, luckily most of it was dust just on the surface, so it should be fine. I still would have liked to put some foam on there, but oh well. Uh, we'll just go ahead and kick this thing back on and see what happens. Alrighty, so she's been running out for a little while. This is what our pressures are looking like. Um, so, it's not freezing, so that's good. Uh, our discharge temperature is about 54 degrees, so it's definitely back up and running. Um, again, I would like to do a more thorough coil clean. I would like to clean that blower assembly and wheel. Um, but it is what it is. We got uh, new filters in, so she's doing pretty good. Uh, I'm not, still not sure what caused the, the low voltage uh, breaker to trip. I'm thinking maybe that contactor is messed up. Maybe it had an intermittent problem, or maybe it arced really bad and it caused the EM field, which caused it to pop. I don't know, who knows. But uh, yeah, I cycled everything and I couldn't get it to do that. I checked for some low voltage shorts real quick, found nothing, so. I don't know about in that one. It's going to be a mystery. So hopefully we won't have to get a call back on this. But um, yeah, she's cooling. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment. Tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And also, if you like the tools that I use, go ahead and visit my Amazon store and pick them up for yourself. Thanks for watching.